Hello and welcome into the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. It's a beautiful Friday morning and of course it's the weekend and we have to prepare you. I mean, we have to make sure that you know every all the dishes you need to prepare this weekend. And the number one on our list is the one we're preparing today. All right. And I have here with me Madame Fumi of Sort Out Kitchen. Madame and Fumi, events. how are you doing? I'm good. Sort Out Kitchen and Events. Yeah. Sort Out Kitchen and Events. Okay, you look amazing, but yeah, what's you. going on? Can you explain to me? It's all one bear Friday. All, and I love how the apron is matching the outfit. Wait. Was that intentional? No. Really? <laughs> wow. <laughs> amazing. It's all yeah. one bear Friday. So yeah, now tell me, Friday. Um, what are we making today? What's so, the all one bear dish on the menu? We're doing all one bear a four euro. Mm -hmm. It's more like um, a dikaikon, but we're doing it the Yoruba, the Owambe way. The Owambe way. You know? All right. Yeah, with, the, with all the things, it's all protein. The, mm -hmm. You can see the table. I can see. It's a oh, full. full. Yeah, yeah. And flourishing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what are we having this with? With white rice. With white rice. Amazing. Yeah. So now tell me, what ingredients do we need to bring this Owambe Eforiri to life? Yeah, Eforiri. the pepper first, because, uh, you know, the regular dikaikon, you don't have them. Um, you don't have the pepper mix, pepper, yeah. okay. So you have the mixed pepper. So what do we have mixed in there? Um, tatashi, the fresh um, yellow pepper is there. Okay. Onions, a little bit of tomato, mm -hmm. you know. Cause but it's mostly, mostly, mostly pepper, yeah. Pepper, yeah, yeah. Pe pepper, pepper. Because you know yes. you're pepper. Uh -huh. Then well, we have a lot of protein. <laughs> okay, now yeah. tell me, what we do you have, have the goat here? meat, mm. we have the shaki, uh -uh. we have beef, oh. we have pomo. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we have stockfish here, okay. yo poropo, yo poropo. and we have the dry stockfish called eja olemi. Eja olemi. olemi. This is my husband's favorite. Oh, right. so yeah. yeah. So what, what's the? What and that's ugu. Ugu, okay. The palm oil, mm -hmm. the water leaf, water leaf. then iru. Yeah, iru. that's the a game okay. of the year. And that's the, one of the star ingredients that we yeah, that's that will take it home. Yes, so this is crayfish. crayfish. Then this is the sun cube and salt. And, and of salt. course, we have the rice. And now the tell rice. me, how, what is the process of making this Owambe Eforiro? What's the process? What do we start with? Because I know, as you said, it's, close, it's similar to Edikaiko. Yeah, the, the combo is more yes, like Edikaiko. But I know Edikaiko, I know there's some one mix. There's one that you put on your face, there's one that you put on your last. <laughs> so, <laughs> so which one is this? What's the process? No, we are frying our oil first. Okay, the oil goes in first, right. then the onions. Okay. Uh -huh. Then the locust beans. The locust beans, okay. Uh -huh. Fry the beet, then the pepper. The pepper. We leave it to, f to, to fry Simma, really well, dry, we very try. well. Okay. Very okay. well. Because okay. uh, we don't have yeah, water don't because, water. Of the because of the water. Because of the water leaves. Yes. 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 Okay, then after that, what are we doing next? Um, then we'll put in the water, the, the protein. Protein, okay. Goes in. Okay. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm not going to put the eja or lemme immediately because I don't want it to break. Break, okay. Uh, so okay. I'll put all the other proteins the in. Okay. Yeah, then the water leaf goes in again. We'll wait for it to dry a bit. Dry a bit. Then the ugu. Ugu will go in. And then and we'll mix it. And, and we're then good we'll to go. It. The and season. We'll season. We'll save our rice. Yes. And then uh, we'll have a lovely meal. Yes. Amazing. Definitely looking forward to see what this one turns like. It's always a pleasure having Chef Fumi here. It's amazing. Okay, so welcome back into the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. I'm still here with Chef Fumi of Sort Out Kitchen, kitchen and Events. And <laughs> Okay, so now tell me. <laughs> so now tell me, what exactly do you do? Sort out kitchen and events. Of course, there's food involved. So tell me exactly in detail what you do. Okay, we do um, party planning. Okay. We party do, planning, so like yeah, event planning. Event, yeah, event planning oh, nice. too. Yeah. Okay, okay. And sort out. Mm -hmm. But we major more in catering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we do uh, party food. Mm -hmm. Weddings, mm -hmm. naming ceremony, anything, Birthday, anything, anything pop, gathering, anything, anything, yeah, anything, out, yeah, <laughs> you know, anything, no one bear. Okay, but uh -huh. how do you now balance it? Because I know event planning can be quite tedious, right? And then the cooking is actually one of the most tedious parts of events. So when you're um, catering for an event and planning at the same time, how do you manage? Uh, well, thank God I have a good team oh, okay. to work with. Mm -hmm. So we have different people, Perfect. different sections to take up. All the responsibilities, things. yeah. So it makes it easier, yeah. And the money for, just coming for in. sort out. The money was sort out. The money yeah. just coming in, coming in, coming. In. Okay, that's then we do, we do we do soup in bowls okay. as well. Okay, okay. Yeah, so you can order any time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just give us um, twenty four hours notice. Okay. Soup in bowls. We do um, local dishes. We do oriental okay. as well. Oh yeah, I asked you the other time if you mix starch and banga. You said yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm going to I order. I don't know why I forgot. I'm going. To, I remember <laughs> now. I'm definitely going to order some nice hot starch and banga. Oh, okay. is that 24 hours? 24 hours. Yeah, sure. That's okay. Amazing. Yeah. So now tell me, what's happening in the pots and what okay. have you done so far? We have the palm oil and the pepper and the, the 
iru, the locust beans. Yes. Then we have the okporoko inside as well. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So we're allowing it dry. Yeah, okay. we so want it case, to dry, like I said. Yeah. In case you're just joining us, we're making a forero owambe, a forero and white rice today. And uh, of course, we have our stew simmering right there. Yeah. So we didn't add any water, did we? So this is all from the you No, know, I think I, I, I added a little bit of stock water. Okay. Because I prefer to use stock water most times mm -hmm. to reduce the, the salt the and, yeah. and, all that. and, the, and in my stock water, you have the garlic, the ginger, and oh, all that. Amazing. You know, so healthy stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so the stock so water from the from, from the air. Yeah. All right, so yeah. and we have the ingredients right there on your screen for the Owambe Eferiro with white rice. You have salt, pepper, onions, palm oil, crayfish, cow skin, stock fish, water leaf, dry panda, or lemme. Oh, Eja Olemi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, we have goat meat. We have some seasoning cubes. We have locust beans. We have ugu. And we have beef and you know, assorted um, meats as well. Do you so, know why they call it Eja Olemi? No, tell me. You know, the people that sell it. Yes. When you're passing mm -hmm. and you're walking along, they always, oh, let, me, oh, let me come. As in, okay. they try to call your wow. attention to their fish. So, what is the literal meaning of Eja Olemi? As in, my friend, French, my friend, my friend, come my and friend, buy. Come uh, or let me, or let me. So uh -huh. it's, 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 it's translation, it can be translated as a friend fish or fish friend. friend. <laughs> <laughs> my fish friend. <laughs> <laughs> my fish friend, my friend my fish. fish <laughs> come and buy. Amazing. Yeah. That's the thing I love about culture yeah. and how you literally balance it up with like English and all of that. Yeah, that's Amazing. it. Yeah. It makes it interesting. It makes it interesting, yeah, and fun. Okay, so now you said we put in our um, palm oil. I noticed you're really generous with the palm oil. Uh, yes. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because uh, you need make, yeah, you need it to make yeah. the, the vegetable look good. Look good. Yes. Right. You know, I told you, I, I love colors. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. You do. So I want everything to come out nice. And palm nice. oil is actually very healthy as well. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's really, really healthy. Yeah. Amazing. So we have in there a palm oil. We had our onions. Um, we didn't allow, we didn't bleach the oil at all. No, 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 we yeah. didn't. So we yeah. just wanted, um, it just got um, hot a bit. Yes. A bit hot, and then we put our oil, our onion. Onions, then the locust beans. The locust beans. Very yeah, important. Pepper. Why do we put the locust beans first? Because growing up, I actually knew, I mean, you could put locust beans, I think, after your worms, you're done cooking. So why are we putting it <laughs> really? in the oil? I, I I'm hearing so. that for the first time. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You put it in mm -hmm. so that you can get that aroma out of the out beans. Of okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you can go. I'm sure you can smell it. I can smell it, definitely. Ah, locust beans, you cannot miss this now. Once that <laughs> you, you will know that it is there. Okay, yeah. so the locust beans, then we did the pepper mix. Yeah, the pepper mix. Yes. Then the okuroko. The okuroko, yes, yes, because we need it to also get a bit soft. soft yes. yes, and all of that. Amazing. So we're waiting for it to dry. To dry up. Yeah. And we're like totally then dry or just the... a little dry? Uh, totally, almost. Almost say, totally yeah. dry. Yeah. Okay, then we put the the, the all the proteins. The protein, and then the water leaf goes the water in. Leaf. And then, and then, the ugu. the ugu. Why do we put the water leaf before the ugu? Because I want the water leaf to dry a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then I want, I don't want it to be slimy. You know, yes, you know, it has yes, that slimy yes, effect. Yes, yes, uh, yes. By the time you cook it very well, mm -hmm. you won't have that you slimy. Won't have that effect. Yes. Okay, nice, yes. nice, nice. And something about water leaf, I know is that you see it like this now. By the time you put the pot, it will bring out a lot of water. It will bring out a lot of water, and then the leaf will now. Shrink. Shrink. <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah, very deceptive it. leaves. But it's very <laughs> But very nice. Well. Very, yeah, very, very nice. good. Very true. Yeah, of course. So why did you decide to use rice? So what are the other things we can actually use in this? Um, you can use bold plantain. Okay. You can use yam, mm -hmm. sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can, can you I, I think you can even swallow. eat it like that. You can use you can use swallow, you can use a like, core. Okay. I, I think it goes with a lot of anything. Yeah. Almost anything mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Actually, and you can fun. even use it with pap. You can use it with pap. Uh -huh. How would you do that? Hey, you drink your pap and you put small, ew, ew. I'm not put small vegetables. I'm not, I'm not had that one before. I, I balance diet. Uh -huh. Pap. Pap, make carbohydrates and vegetables. Yeah, you know, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'll try the other as well. I would not try. So, I mean, it's a weekend now. So, what is yeah. sort out kitchen and events? What are we after? What are we um, up to? Uh, we have um, soups and bowls to deliver tomorrow. Oh, okay. We have ikokore to make tomorrow as well. Mm. Uh, I think the Calabar call it ekpan kukwo. Ekpan kukwo, yes. Yeah, yes, I'm an yes. girl. Okay. So, so it's, it's one of my favorites. One of your favorites. Okay. And it's one of the eight games of Sort Out Kitchen. Oh, one of the, I mean, so maybe the next time you're coming now, we want to be seeing ikokore. Uh, if you want it. Well, so, so is ikokore difficult to make? At because all, it's not. It's not, it's because not. I know I've tried making ekpan kukwo. I grated my fingers. <laughs> 
telling you, it was a, it was a tedious process. Oh. But I mean, the result was amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I think I'll definitely try it. So next time, sure you make a cookery for us. Oh. One At your service. All At right. your service, anytime. <laughs> All right, anytime. amazing. This food is for you. It is? Is it? It's for him. It's for him. Mm. Uh, thank you so much, Chef. You're welcome. Yeah, of course. Welcome to the Wake Up Nigeria Kitchen. You know I've been timing you since. Yeah. Today is the day. <laughs> I'm going to pass this food to you. Wow. <laughs> If you eat it or not eat it, it's up to you. Wow. Choose wisely. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is the reason why you came for this show. This is the major reason. Like, it even care. Who cares about it totally? <laughs> uh, uh, interesting. I, uh, please have a taste. Okay. Tell us what okay. you think. Mm -hmm. okay, let, me, let me taste the soup. Uh, uh. Well, we went straight for the soup. Mm -hmm. ah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Uh. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Okay. Wake up Nigeria. Is the best. Yes, it is. Yeah. Thank you. This is the best. From Sort Out Kitchen. From Sort Out Kitchen. <laughs> it's the most sort out uh, yes, yes, sir. Kitchen. Yes, um, quickly, yeah. that's okay. Uh, Tell us when should we expect Tito Tell on Netflix? Wait, let me take one back. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it goes on Netflix today, guys. Okay. Today. It goes on Netflix today. Now streaming, actually. Now, yeah. streaming. now streaming. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well done. Really, really. Thank you so much.